nobody to stand up to. <laughs> that everybody too afraid to. Because they might get called an ugly name. But you know, at the same time, I wouldn't criticize anybody else. This is nice and tall. It's standing up to them. Okay. I say, right? My life. We, 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 we can have a lot of conversations. We can. Yes, yes. We can. Yes, yes. You too. We declare the right of the people of the South to the ownership of the South and to the unfettered control of Southern destinies to be sovereign and indefeasible. Look here, y'all. There is this misconception about what nationalism is. Most people, when they hear the term nationalism, they think of a political entity. They think about the American nation. They think about politics. They think about borders. Well, yeah, there are borders, but the borders that distinguish what? Borders that distinguish not a political unit, a polity, but borders that distinguish a people, a blood people. The Bible talks about nations, and it means peoples, tribes, clans, groups of individuals that are connected by blood. So when we talk about the southern nation, we're talking about not political entities. We're talking first and foremost about our people. And who are our people? Our people are white European Southerners. Now, we're mainly from the British Isles, but we're also from other parts of Northern and Western Europe, and even parts of Central Europe. But we are a distinctive people based on blood, and that from that blood comes culture. And from that culture comes our political institutions, and from the political institution come our borders and our nations, our nation states, as we call them. Germany, France, England, Scotland, Ireland, Norway, Denmark, Sweden, Dixie. They're all the same. We are a people. We are a nation. We are a blood with a land.